Oh, hey. I'm just about to go to bed. Bro, get your bra, man. Too mad, bro. Too mad. I don't know you. Too what to do, man. It is your boy. Abdul up next and I'm back. With another video today, man. Yes, sir, Ski, bro. And to start this video, I want to ask you guys do you guys know a YouTuber named Too Mad? Oh, hey. I'm just about to go to bed. I know we couldn't Skype tonight, but that's all right. Now, I opened up Twitter. If you guys don't know, Twitter is literally my favorite app, but I have no tweets, barely, because nobody follows me on Twitter. I mean, you guys can follow me at Next one if you guys want to. I'm not even going to force you guys to. But I opened up Twitter. I found out that a Twitch streamer, YouTuber, whatever he is, died. Now, when I found out that, I was kind of sad. I was like... Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I want to be a streamer one day. This is sad. But when I opened up Twitter, bro, everybody was like, rest in piss. That's what he gets. Da 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 da. I never see so many people talk on his grave. You would have thought he was from like 63rd. I seen the dude, he looked like a dork, you know what I'm saying? He had the glasses just like me, but he had the sky top, which was nasty work. He had the sky top box picked out. But pretty much people were completely happy. That he died, bro. And I thought that was kind of messed up at first. I'm on Twitter like, yo, like, yo, this app is too toxic. But people were saying it's because of what he did in his life. I didn't know a gamer was out here sinning like that. And when I found out what happened to him, it was because he OD. I don't know if he was listening to too much rap music. Was he listening to Juice World? What was he? Li what? Well, pretty much this guy liked the little girls or something like that. And we got to pretty much see exactly who Too Mad is and what he did. Videos called, people are happy that this YouTuber died. Literally. People celebrated, bro. You would've thought the Twitter community won the NBA Finals. I follow Bruce on Twitter. I seen Bruce emoting on Twitter. I don't know if people would be happy if they did this to their family member, their uncle, their this, but apparently from what he did, he deserves every way he got treated. Three, two, one. Yeah, tell me who this too mad dude is and Please tell me why he was doing while playing Overwatch. Aren't you supposed to focus while you're playing Overwatch? Why are you doing this? Like, look at his build. His head shape kind of weird. He kind of got the Jimmy Neutron dome head shape. It like it goes up to the side, you know? But I can't see what he could have done. Those glasses are ridiculously work. I ain't gonna lie. 23 on Valentine's Day. It's suspected that he died from an overdose, which is genuinely sad. 23 on Valentine's Day. I guess he ain't had no shorty waking up for him. Boy, Valentine's Day, the best day of the year if you got a girl. Why you dying? How you gonna give up on Valentine's Day? Kurt Cobain method? You mean to tell me people are doing the little poke needle in 2020-24? Which is genuinely sad seeing at how young he is. Now, if you don't know who Too Mad is, then you're not alone because I was basically just learning who he was after the news came out. He was Me too! Seeing that he died, never seen his face before. Weirdest thing of all time though, I really want to say this. Bro, blogs like to post TikTokers and stuff. After they die. Don't post somebody after they die if you never cared about them when they was alive. Bro, this man angry reactions, bro. I, I don't know the man at all. But I seen he went to jail for domestic this, domestic that. And everybody knows, bro, that's unacceptable, right? But what everybody got business posting it for, y'all didn't post him for the last two years, bro. Last time I literally seen him was when he was with the D'Amelios. Why y'all got to kick him while he down? I thought that was crazy weird. Crazy gay. And blogs and stuff, I, I ain't on no blog, so I don't gotta care. But blogs and stuff do highlight people's worst moments. How you gonna, how was everybody gonna publicly post this man doing this? What if he didn't do it? It could still be an open case. He bailed out the next day. He could have been proven innocent, bro. But the blogs is gonna make his image be looked at in some way, which is crazy. Let's keep it going basically a giant internet goofball who did goofy stuff like pranks skits and such one of the main series oh that wow blow up was when he would bomb zoom classes that he was not a part of i am uh Ashashamya from what university i am new chat when i give y'all this look that mean i'm disappointed bro get your bra man too mad bro too mad i don't know if you up or down i'm gonna just assume you was down because you kind of you kind of you kind of quit game early, you know what I'm saying? You know when you save and quit a game? Too mad, you saved and quit it. So I'm gonna look down. Put your bra on, game. Put your bra on. Yo, never see me take this tank top off cuz I'm not trying to scare y'all. Too mad sitting up here scaring me like this, man. He got on the same hat that Young Thug had in that Jeffrey cover though. 3 a.m. He also started the popular goodnight girl meme. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> 
I just about to go to bed. I know we couldn't Skype tonight, but that's all right. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Bro, Valentine's Day is very interesting, bro. Like, I just want y'all to keep that in mind. Like, Valentine's Day was where he had it up to here. He, he exited game. You know what I'm saying? He quit the game. So, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, why would you want to quit game on Valentine's Day? Like, ain't you ain't that a bad day everybody got waiting on them? That's kind of like the best day of your life with your shorty. But I was hearing his shorty in elementary school. I was hearing he had to pick his girl up from class and some more stuff, so mean but apparently it was super popular and he was the one who started it and as a creator he was also extremely popular and had a massive fan base Usually okay too mad youtuber or content creator dies people will get really sad say r.i.p and then move on to the next streamer drama or whatever but when two yeah that's died, very true were throwing their hands up in the air and celebrating like as if hitler just died and i'm not really exaggerating because that's what some people ref Bro, the memes when too mad, bro, mind you, he's 23, bro. He didn't even get a chance to live life. And look at how people celebrated somebody's death, bro. I personally find this as completely wrong, but we have to wait to see what he did, but him too. When I went on Twitter, all I saw, and I mean like all I saw was people just too mad after the, yo, can't laugh at dead memes, bro. I believe in karma. Roasting the living of this dude who just died and to really add insult to injury according to his discord activity he died while playing overwatch for like a week straight so <laughs> died playing mid is crazy died playing mid is crazy bro had enough bro must have died to them little 12 year olds i ain't gonna lie when i be dying to y'all little 12 year olds on fortnite i be kind of feeling the same way but seven days straight is crazy bro probably ain't take a shower for five days before he died how many how many days did he go without a shower before the before the perk 30 kicked in and it was over that's my question how bad did his body smell okay okay how bad did he smell before it was gg because you know when you're done you really stink like you reek so did too mad really like Maybe he smelled his upper lip before he died. Who knows? Maybe he got a width of his armpits. Maybe he just... But, bro, seven days in a row on the game? Bro, when was the last time you spoke to your mom? Bro, when was the last time you went outside and seen the sky? Do you even get fresh air? You gonna lock yourself in your musty room like that too mad? Too mad! I gotta look down because I don't know if he up or down. But if you gonna exit early, you gotta be down, right? Too mad! That was like the main joke of all of these memes and stuff. And people were not holding back on this at all. So I wondered what exactly did this guy do that made people on Twitter roast the living f I'm here for it, bro. Tell us. Celebrate his death. Well, then again, Please tell people us. on Twitter will basically scrutinize you for anything. Now. What so was it, man? This all started a little over half a year ago when two men went on a complete tweeting tirade. And in the midst of it, he got into some argument with another content creator who told him to chill the f out and roasted him for having no girlfriend. And then two men oh, responded man. saying, look, bro, I have- Oh, man. He was getting roasted for having no girlfriend and the end day was Valentine's Day. Oh, man. Oh, my God. They said you post a million times on Twitter, bro. Please log off and take some sort of break. You look like a no life right now. And then he posted this girl. I told you, he has a business with under girl. I don't know what business he got. So everybody take your age guesses. She 15 girlfriend with a picture of Brianna Gray which was very very distasteful now who's Brianna Gray who that is Brianna Gray was a 16 year old transgender girl who was brutally <laughs> by two other 15 year old kids <laughs> And that whole Lord. thing happened like a couple Rip. months before all of this, so it was very, very fresh. And it's also just a really weird f thing to say in general. Now, Two Mad realized that he f***ed up, deleted the tweet, and then soon addressed it with another tweet very soon after. He then said, what did he I say? didn't know she died. I 23-year-old man hitting on a 16-year-old? Man, we don't gotta talk about genders. You know what side I pick. Man, I'm staying on this platform. We will not do no gay hating. We will not do no gay hating. That's facts. I thought she was hot as crazy, bruh. 
How you incriminate yourself by over tweeting? You sitting up here going at a youngin like that after she died? Not only do you like under so so wait, did he die to go at her in the afterlife? Hold on! Hold on! Too mad actually somewhere playing 21 with underage girls just thought she was hot. Which made it even worse. Because keep in mind, he's like 22 at the time and the girl was 16. So he wasn't really helping himself out here. And then you was on the internet claiming girls that wasn't your girl? Too mad? I want to call you weird for that, but I know too many of y'all that be doing that. But you go to school, somebody show you a girl and be like... Yo, this is my girl, but she don't go to my school. She live, she goes to a different school, and she don't even know him. I had a friend that kept telling me all these girls he dated in the school. I would just go to them like, you talk to this guy? They would be like, no, I actually hate this guy. So, too mad. don't tell me you one of them, bruh. Don't tell me you the super dork. You die playing Overwatch, and you're not even, like, 18. Like, you're not 18 and she's 16. Brother, you are 23 and she's 16. And it only got worse from there, because he then doubled down on the joke by then tweeting a picture of a different girl and captioned it, Hey, look to my GF, she's trans 8, just got stabbed to death by- You. Get it. Go. Too mad, bro. I gotta look down, cause I- that's where my guess is. You gotta go. It bullies no. Now, I don't know if he was drunk when he tweeted that or something because it looked like he had a seizure while trying to type that out. But it was just also stupid as f to say regardless. Like, just digging yep. deeper and deeper into this giant goddamn hole. And he just kept going more and more into this awful Twitter downhill spiral of insanity. How more could like he keep saying? Turn into what else did he say? It was more concerning than funny, if anything. And then soon after, a girl came forward about how he was stalking and harassing her at this point, I don't care about censoring his name or hiding what he did. He stalked me for seven months after I blocked him. You getting curved, bro. You have to, you're stalking women? That's what we do now? Too mad. I knew something was up about you when I seen you, bro. I knew it, bro. A man, a man has to be miserable who, with, with glasses like that. Maybe, maybe not with glasses like that, but with that player build too, mad, you had to be miserable, bro. You was looking like a 65 overall. I'm not gonna lie. Too mad! He had none. No badges on his player build. I could tell. He wasn't just no fridge protector, bro. He was the fridge warrior. Like he was he was he was protecting the fridge. Maybe with his Overwatch moves he learned while he was on the game. For like over half a year. She revealed some of the messages where he was just straight up. Look at what you text girls. Look at what this man texted a woman. 20 years old. 23! You old enough to start a family by now. At 23, I might have a kid. I'm not gonna lie. That's what? Two more years for me. I might have a kid. I'm not 21 yet. I turn 21 maybe in like the next few weeks. So far as to create six different burner accounts to send her all of these different ass messages. And most of these messages were just like memes that usually 12 year olds would spam to each other. Like, I miss the rage and saying Donda, which is the name of You're Kanye 23. West Palm, Which is harassment, by the way. Not particularly the memes, that's just cringe. But the fact that he created six different phone numbers. That's them Discord kids. That's them Reddit kids. They asked me why I don't be on Discord. I got a Discord. Join it in the description. You better join it. But that don't mean I, I be on it kicking like this. Bro, this man sitting up here texting females, I miss the rage. What you, trying to scare the He's trying to scare the woman. He's not trying to get the woman to like him. He's trying to scare them off. He then posted an apology video himself, basically admitting to abusing her and doing a lot of weird too. I am I am literally driving, but um, uh, I'm I'm literally in Oregon, Washington, Oregon. Dab. Okay. So apology. All right. So I can't. He's get in where? Any way that I've done. But, He's in uh, Oregon. I'll, I'll try my best. Okay. Okay. I, I at least want to take responsibility for what the I did. You know. You know, the, the, like the way I treated you and like viewed you. Yeah, it's one of those apology videos where it's like very obviously doing the bare minimum. I mean, oh my god, bro, too mad. I thought you had clout, bro. I thought when you get clout, the females come easier. Too mad, you, you make. What are you doing? What can you expect from a that I spent five days on Overwatch? You texted that girl I missed the rage. At twenty-three years old, you spammed her fifty times. What I missed the rage? You got to be kidding me.
If that's a shot, that's a full court shot. If you're shooting your shot to a girl, you shot the full court. Matter of fact, you get in half court press. Like, you ain't even get a chance to get up the court to shoot. You don't even get a shot meter when you shoot your shots. I ain't gonna lie. Too mad could be shooting a wide open shot on a female that might even like him. And his bar meter might still be a little too small to hit the shot. Too mad. You don't even got the upgrades to... At one point, this girl pulled out what did he? What else he did? contract or whatever the f that this is here. For the next 60 days, under all facets of interaction with Bella online or in person, Mandea agrees to. You know how bad your game gotta be for people to be writing this from you? Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I was in 7th grade, I actually had one of these for a girl. But that's because, like, not because I was on too mad timing. When I, It was 8th grade. When I was in 8th grade, I got separated classes from a girl because... We was t we was Kushan and Blueface at 13, 14 years old. But that's a story for another day. And I'm actually tapped in with her now. Shout out Shorty. Ludea is too mad's real name, by the way. Ludea will not demand Ludea. entertain with Bella. Ludea will be required due to his history demonstrating wild, uncontrollable psychological problems and disregard to other people around him. To be hyper aware that he is prone to easily scarring, emotionally damaging Bella. You're prone to scarring woman? Like, how do you even go to another girl and tell a girl this is what you did in your past? Maybe that is why he quit game. Maybe Too Mad believed in reincarnation and did not like his build that he spawned with. It got way worse after. Because after Too Mad died, this man got hit with more allegations than R. Kelly did in More allegations? It felt like record- Than R. Kelly? Another content creator by the name of James Key posted some pretty serious accusations against What did James Key say he did, bro? I can finally say it. Too Mad was a- Oh my god, I think I seen this tweet. Over the past few years, he tried to do me in for helping the police investigate what he did. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going on a freeway while doing those. He didn't succeed once as he OD'd before he got in his bag. Okay, God had to pull you out the game himself because you was planning on doing wrong. Too mad. I, I knew you had to score. Bill, bro. Please remember that he's a grape and a pea. And he continued to prey on vulnerable, even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in the mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reason why I ended up in the ER. Please give me time. Ooh, this is a lot to unpack. Too Mad was a true threat. He was a true threat. For one, Too Mad, if Too Mad told me he was going to do this to me, I would have told him to try it. Because what is he going to do? He was a play cleaner. He was going to belly flop you? You should have just ran the fair ones. You should have called Dooley. I'm going to crash out. I would have slayed with you. Somebody else tagged in and said, this is a lot. I witnessed firsthand two mass threats live during TwitchCon. Oh, they let this man into TwitchCon after he did that. He couldn't even go home because he knew his address and he was on route to Vegas after threats. He had to use our hotel room to hide out. How was... Oh my god, my man Damski was getting doxxed by Too Mad. Too Mad, bro, oh my god, we got another person flexing what happened to Too Too Mad did me in for months on my socials and spam me with dozens of messages of how he's obsessed and how much he needed to grape. You let it go. Sometimes he'd add, with a minor, I don't regret what I did. This man Too Mad was a monster. Oh my god, how do you, oh my god. My stomach hurts right now, you guys. Like, to be honest, my stomach hurts. I'm weirded out. I want to make a joke right now, but, like, where can I throw in a joke right now? Like, he was proud of what he was doing. Obviously, there is no official proof to confirm these statements, but to me, it sounds pretty genuine. Again, if someone comes out with these types of accusations after a person died, they are obviously not looking for money. You can't sue They're a just dead scared, guy, or man. Or at least I don't think so. Again, I think the main purpose- Nah, of Michael Jackson's getting sued as we speak, bro. Michael Jackson been getting sued for his whole life. Okay, in the rest of the video, he just pretty much talks about it, and we done talked about it already, man. Look, I want to give a shout out to these four people right here, man. In the comment section, y'all tell me if y'all knew who Too Mad was and what you thought about Too Mad. Me personally, bro, I didn't know anything about Too Mad. I grew up on YouTubers like Soluminati, YRN DJ, BJ Groovy, Pretty Boy Fredo, DDG, Burleazy. Burleazy probably inspired me to do YouTube the most, if you don't see a similarity. But... 
I ain't grow up like that. If you grew up watching Too Mad, Cough, Cough, that's crazy to say you grew up on a grapist. That's me personally, bro. Like, why ain't DJ ain't do that? Like, I'm chilling, man. But look, these four people got a shout out because four people get a shout out at the end of every video. And you can be, a, you can get a shout out just like these four people, man. If you want a shout out like these four people, all you have to do is like this video. Let me know that you liked it in the comment section, man. It is your boy, Abdullah, next. I am. Good. Make sure you actually tell me what you think, bro, because the top, the comments on this video gotta be interesting. Like, I need to know y'all opinion.